Kate McLennan. I'm Kate McCartney. It's the morning. So pull out your phone and check your slate of social media accounts on rotation until your life changes. It's time to get cracking. Here, I'll make you a brunette. No, ugly! hosts Kate McLennan and Kate McCartney. And good morning, Crackers! It's Women's Health Day at Get Cracking today. So it's time to have fun for once and celebrate with the latest fitness craze, roller size. Or as I like to call it, Rollers Kate. Ah. <laughs> now please welcome to the studio the Body Positive team. that a large-scale incident has occurred. Mate, what's happened? We don't know what's happened exactly. We don't know where. We don't know why. We don't know who. We don't know how many, if any, Aussies have been lost. What we do know is that... The show's cancelled. No. We'd get cracking are the first ones to cover it. I'm gonna go. So we will, of course, dedicate the rest of the show to this presumably monumentally historic tragedy. So stay with us. I'm Catherine McLennan for Get Crackin'. I'm Catherine McCartney. Welcome back to this special Get Crackin' Disaster Edition. I've Get Crackin' on this a little bit higher. Where we, yes, that's better, where we interrupt our Women's Health Day programming to bring you news of this tragic... Whatever it is. If you've just tuned in, I'll summarise the situation so far. We were participating in an energetic exoskate routine. I got tangled in a scrotum. Then we received news of a large-scale and career-defining event that has occurred somewhere. And we are the first ones on the scene. Like an overzealous tow truck driver at a pileup that came out wrong. But rest assured that I, Catherine McLennan, actress, investigative journalist, take this role very seriously. I've got a hairbrush stuck in my hair. As does my colleague, Katerina McCartney, who is clearly very shaken by these traumatic events. She looks unwell. Yes, I do look unwell because for some reason I'm wearing Buddy Yellow and Buddy Yellow makes me look dead ass. OK, in news just to my hand, Australian Prime Minister Olivia Burney is about to make a statement at Parliament House to shed more light on this situation. We cross to her now. Now. Not now. Okay, well, let's just keep talking. Mm -hmm. We are sitting on fitballs today because it was Women's Health Day at Get Crackin', but we're putting that off for now. But it is still important to maintain your pelvic floor. Isn't that right, Kate McCartney? Yes, if you had a vagina, remember to do your exercises so that it doesn't fall out the end of you like an upturned purse. Mm -hmm. do, we, do we have some news? Do we have some breaking news? Do we have some footage? Oh. No? no. No, we've just got some audio. audio. OK, we've just got some audio coming in here from Mariana Trench. OK, can we get Mariana up on the screen? I think you mean the Mariana Trench. Yes, she certainly is an icon. OK, do we... We don't know. We don't have a picture of Mariana. But here is some audio anomalies that Mariana has detected on the ocean floor that could give us a sense of the scale of today's tragedy, if they're relevant. Hearing it here first, let's, let's have a listen now. Hmm. Mm. 
Yeah, that's quite vague. Mm. But you know, normally these deep ocean sounds, they point to secret nuclear testing or an impending tsunami or even whales fucking the planet. Mm. Mm. Yes, in these times of tragedy, we all seek comfort where we can. Huddling together like two trapped miners taking comfort in the lonely shaft with their own lonely shafts. Ah, beautiful imagery. Thank you. Right, well, we are partway through our historic Get Kraken disaster coverage and we'll move on to our next guest. Now, who is this person? This person? Why are you here? Well, I'm here today to show all the hubbies out there how to give their ladies a sexy breast examination. Now, first, you're going to want to palpate the areola. Okay. Are we ready to go to the planet? Right we cross to her now. <clears throat> yeah, I'm just um, freelancing on the side at the moment, actually, waiting for that death adder of a woman who runs the website I work for to pay me some good money. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, I'm the politics editor for BuzzFeed. Oh, great. What, so you're coming the disaster? Yeah, I'm weaving it into a bigger expose on unicorn hair. Oh, fantastic. Mm. Where are you living at the moment? Oh, my car. Yeah, <laughs> me too. I very explicitly said that I only wear dual colours, Jackie. I'm not sure how you managed to ask this up. Have you heard of a poo body? What? It's a journalism award. We're going to win it. Mm, still no word from Prime Minister Bernie. Yeah, I'm going to need a brighter lid. Mm, not really giving us investigative journalists much to work with. Let's turn to a different camera. Not to worry, tragedies are not defined by what happened in the tragedies. Rather, it is the human faces of the tragedies that tell the human stories of what happened to those humans in those tragedies. And cut. That's the clip they'll use when we're nominated for a Poe body. You've got another brush in your hair. Fuck. We cross now to get Kraken's news and foreign affairs correspondent and intern Scarlett Nickdow to glean the mood on the street. Scarlett, what's the mood on the street? Well, the mood on the street is empty because uh, it's 3 a.m. and I'm in the suburbs. Mm. Do you think the people are too scared to come out of their houses, Scarlett? No, I think they're just asleep. How do you think those sleeping people in those houses would react if you woke them up now and told them the news? Uh, well, they'd probably be angry with me. They might call the police. Go knock on someone's door. Tell them the horrible news. I don't, I don't know what the news is. Do you or do you not want this unpaid internship, Scarlett? Yes, I do. All right, well, off you pop then. OK. Scarlett Nickdown, about to deliver news of this morning's tragedy to someone who is currently asleep. Let's watch now as the horror spreads over their faces in real time. I think they might be away. There's no car in the drive-in that their mail slot's full. Mm. Wow. Already people are fleeing their homes in fear. People don't feel safe out there, do they, Kate McCartney? No. Go to the next house, Scarlett. OK. McCartney. If you were fleeing your home in a situation like this, what would you pack? Ah, good question. Thank you. Sports memorabilia. Mm -hmm. My war medals. Yep. Your hair straightener. Mm. Oh, oh, is that a person? Oh, it is a person, possibly a murderer, very dangerous. Catch him, Scarlet. Talk to him. Glean his mood on the street. Run, Scarlet. Uh, sir? S sir? Excuse me, sir? What's your mood uh, on the street? Well, like Scarlett didn't say, the mood on the street is very dark. Mm, citizens are running for their lives. It's jungle law out there. It is. Or oh, they're understandably barricading themselves inside and carving weapons from table legs. McCartney, what's mm. your take on all of this? Horrific. Couldn't have said it better myself. You cannot bridge the chasm between a cool-toned woman and this corn diarrhoea of a colour. I meant on the disaster. Come on, mate, focus. What's happened? That's the question you'll all be asking at home if you're awake. So in the absence of footage or facts, let's do what online news sites have been doing since time immemorial. Let's allow our imaginations to roam free like a dick in a spacesuit. McCartney, mm. what do you think happened? Give us your top five. That came out wrong. Just, just go for it. OK. Latent Y2K virus. Big snake in a toilet. Mm -hmm. Oh, a tornado that also incorporates fish. Mm -hmm. Oh, AI. Ah, oh, terrible film. Agreed. What about you? What do you think this disaster is? Thank you for asking. Toxic toothpaste. Mm. Super Zika. 
cruise ship gastro. The polar ice caps have started to melt. Well, the polar ice caps have started to melt. Exactly. That's what I think it is too. One last one. Unknown threats. Oh, they're unknown. That's what makes them so dangerous. <laughs> oh, oh, what are we looking at here? What is this vision? Ah, that is our Women's Health Week footage of a mum's tum and guns class. Right. So not related to the tragedy. No. One, one would assume. <laughs> All right. I think we might need to just take a moment to recalibrate, guys, as a team. All right. We'll be back with more of our disaster special after these important messages. Missed an episode of Get Crackin' because you don't like it? Catch up on our website. And while you're there, buy our limited edition Get Crackin' body pillows. Wake up with the Kates every day. McCartney sold out, only available in the Clement. The flag of Earth there on this tragic day. Is there a flag of Earth? There's not. So that is... Designed by our graphics department. They're really under the pump today. Right. Speaking of which, with still no footage or facts or even just a simple body count available from today's situation, we ask, what is the scope of this tragedy? And we answer with a clip from the documentary-style Michael Bay blockbuster, Armageddon. Mm. And a warning, some viewers may find these images quite disturbing. Have you recently had a baby? Does your partner ever wander into your bedroom and say, What's that smell? It smells like rotting meat in here. Then you probably have bacteria. Nope, that is a Women's Health Day infographic of bacterial vaginosis. Yes, a women's health issue of which neither of us have had any personal experience. No. No. Right, are we ready to go to the Prime Minister now? It's really beginning to feel like someone's gaslighting us now. Well, nevertheless, the absence of footage or facts hasn't stopped us, nor has it stopped the outpouring of emotion on social media. That's right. TXPR1DE says, If only whoever was there at whatever happened in this vague situation I don't know anything about had a gun. Mm. Grugsware says, This is personal to me because my boyfriend's cousin's nephew went on a holiday overseas three years ago. I'm literally shaking. Mm. Rory Bernard MP says, not to politicise the tragedy, but this is what happens when you let gays marry. And Natasha Real Girl says, hot single women in your area want your cock. Mm. A lot of strong opinions there from people who are in no way at all connected to this tragedy. That's right. And now on this calamitous day, it's time for some shit hot bargains with Danza Direct presents Shopper's Corner. Welcome to Shopper's Corner. And have I got a product for you today? No, stuff it. I will talk about it, I will. Australia mourns with the rest of the world today. Je suis wherever. You know what I'm sick of? What, Helen? <laughs> putting on eyeshadow, then putting on mascara, then putting on foundation. Then putting on black. Then putting on bronzer. Then putting on every single thing. Alleluia! I'm alive! Alleluia is right, because all that wasted makeup time is finally over. Because of a product called Slim Easy, an all in one bronzing, foundation, eyeshadow, blush, contouring, and setting powder called Slim Easy. But how does it work? Let's see for ourselves with our lovely model, Carla. Hi, Carla. <laughs> I like to begin with the eyes. <laughs> oh, yeah. You're a bit upset, are you, Carla? <laughs> You can see how this circular motion here really brings out her cheekbones. Do you see that? 
Is it because of today's events, is it Carla? Yeah. And you can see the way I've emphasised the eyes there. The eyes are very emphasised. <laughs> oh, Carla! My girl! My dear girl! You've got to be strong! Oh, the angels! The angels, where are they? I, I can't see them. I, ah, where are they? Ah, the angels. <laughs> to brass stacks. Does that say brass stacks? Yes. That's wrong. The crew's really flying by the seat of their pants today. OK, if you've just joined us, welcome back to the Get Kraken tragedy that will at any minute now escalate into a memorial episode episode. McCartney, mm. summarise the situation. I'm wearing yellow and it's all I can think about. McCartney. McLennan. Let's ramp this fucker up. OK. It's time to start pointing the finger. New angle. When something bad happens in the world, we always know who to immediately blame. Muslims. Dudes. You know her from her regular Get Kraken segment, Dr Susan Carlin defends her religion once again, and she's agreed to do this show on short notice. It's Muslim heavyweight and wife of musician Waleed Ali, Dr Susan Carlin. Dr Susan Carlin, thank you for being here. Sure. Dr Susan Carlin, as a Muslim, when, oh, when will you accept responsibility for this terrorist tragedy or tragedies in the plural? OK. There's been no mention of Muslims or of terrorism. Mm. Furthermore, it's reckless to suggest there's a connection between the two in the first place. Mm. She's mm. dodging the question. OK, so you're not going to accept responsibility for any and all tragedies that have happened in the world and you're not going to give away any valuable intel? I don't know anything and neither do you. Mm. All right, well, it's clear to me that you're not going to give up any information about your terrorist plot. That's fine. We'll just go to our regular questions for your segment. You're not going to ask me about my hijab again, are you? It's about your hijab. Oh, come on. Question number one. Dr Susan Carlin, do you wear a headscarf? Are you repressed? No. We've been through this several times. Are you sure you're not repressed? Do two blinks for yes, one blink for no. No blinks. Mm. That hijab's really done a number on you. OK, question number two. Dr Susan Carlin, you're accomplished, you're articulate, you're highly educated, you're a doctor. Why should we believe you when you say you're not repressed by your hijab? Mm, that was a tough one. I'll come a little easier on you. Rapid fire round. Dr. Susan Carlin, what's your favourite dog breed? Sharpe. What's your favourite colour? Teal. What's your favourite cheese? Brie. Are you repressed by your job? No! Ah. See, I thought I'd slip you up there. You were too quick for me. Yes, I am. And can I remind you, you begged me to be on this show. Mm. She's giving us nothing. Mm -hmm. She's afraid of who might be watching. Mm. Nobody's watching. Well, Susan Carlin says that her Muslims are not to blame for this nameless tragedy, so according to us, the Australian media, there can only be one other group responsible. Sharks. Toddler asylum seekers. We're joined now in this high-minded Q&A-style discussion by kooky critters presenter and shark expert... Sharkspert. Sharkspert, Dr Mallory Naylor who was already booked for the show. All right, Dr Mallory, can you pinpoint the exact moment in time when the shark, if there was a shark, when exactly it was radicalised? That's a very hard question to answer. Thank you. I asked the hard questions, Kate McLennan, Peabody award-winning journalist. So you're not denying that the shark, if there was a shark, was radicalised? Look, I, I just don't know what shark you're talking about. Them smart sharks, like in that film, The Deep Blue Sea. I'm sorry about her. She's an actor. Mallory, biologist to biologist, how do we stop these killer smart sharks? Give us a listicle. Look, um, stop swimming during sharks' feeding times, uh, in choppy waters, when the sky's cloudy. How dare you restrict my Australian freedom? Sing the Australian song. Swimming at the beach at dawn, surrounded by chum, mimicking the movement. 
Well, for a fat harbour seal is what makes me Australian, along with barbecues on Australia Day and racially vilifying someone and having the law on my side. I'm Australian! She's Australian! You're Australian! We're all Australians! Steve Irwin! Banjo Patterson! Brumbies! Bakery! Funnel! Web! Bite! That's it! I'm boycotting Flake! Oh, that's actually a very good idea. Flake are dangerously overfished. They are dangerous fish. Dr Susan Carlin, thanks for coming in. Before you I go... I am not repressed. Mm. Mm. Agree to disagree. We'll see you next week. No, you won't. Mallory Naylor, let's end this on a positive note. What animal have you brought in to show us today? Oh, I've got a pregnant pink salmon back oh, here. Oh. I wrote a song about that once. I eat you all the way. Pink salmon, I eat you all the way. It'll stick in your head, trust me. And now a moving, moving images package that captures the resilience of the human spirit when confronted not necessarily with this tragedy, but with events in general. Get your tissues out. I know I'll need mine. of the disaster that's been released, which I just find very hard to believe. You know, some might say that no news is good news, McLennan. That's right. That's right. Some may say that. But if there is news, it would be good if that news was broken, say, in the next five to six minutes and not broken by, say, Michael O'Beef and the Breakfast Gang, who are up next, just because, you know, we just, just to spare them the trauma of it. You know, Don't I think I'm supposed to be wearing that blue dress. Mm. You're hysterical. I think we need to refocus and we need to treat this unknown tragedy with the gravitas it probably deserves. You're right. I'm sorry. And now it's... Sorry, do we, do we have the PM? Does she have a body count? Do we have some breaking news? Ladies and gentlemen, Australian Prime Minister Olivia Burney. Thanks for your patience, everyone. I was personally welcoming a plane load of Syrian refugees. First of all, Details of this event are still coming to hand. But I can assure Australians that their safety is the ultimate concern of this government. At this trying time, I call on my fellow Australians not to speculate, not to be led by fear and hatred, but by love, compassion and strength. And I know we will, because I know Australians. I know us by our overwhelming concern for the plight of asylum seekers and our celebration and defence of multiculturalism and diversity, by our pride in and respect for Aboriginal culture, their living culture, the oldest on earth, by our care for the poor, the sick, the different and the finite natural resources of this beautiful country of ours and by how we all agreed en masse that the old flag was racist. Today is a difficult day, but I am certain that the Australian spirit will be the light when all else seems dark. Thank Prime you. Prime Minister, can you do that yoga pose on the table? Have you and Helen set a date yet? Have you been on Rihanna's Maggie yacht yet? Is that it? People don't want to be inspired. They want to know how many white people are dead. What an absolute waste of time. Okay, well, we've got a few minutes left before the breakfast gang. 
come in and take all this over, but it's not over yet. There's still a bit more time for the gory and very tragic details to break on our show. Get cracking, so don't go anywhere. I just need a fucking body That's count, guys. It's got nothing. Welcome back to the dying moments of our Get Kraken Tragedy Bonanza. It has been a harrowing start to the day, Catherine McCartney. Yes, no one should be made to feel this way. I agree. Jackie and Wardrobe has to go. Now, we were going to close what was to be our Women's Health Day episode with a song about the myth of the female orgasm from the cheeky puppet-based Broadway musical Midnight Alley. As if today could get any worse. But in light of today's tragically unconfirmed events, we are going to end with a respectful minute's silence. And I'm going to time it. But before we do that, can I just check if we have any news in? Do we have anything at all? No? OK. Start the timer. What about now? Do we have anything now? Mate, mate, just let it go. <sighs> it's over, isn't it? We're not going to break this story. And I'm not going to win a po' body. No kidding, you're not. But I want you to know that you are never going to win a Peabody because you're a stupid actor with zero real world skills. Hmm. And I want you to know that I switched our dresses over because no one's going to take someone seriously when they're dressed like a urine sample. Fuck you. Let's bring this fucker home. So, from our family to yours, we wish you a good night, a good luck, and a do not go softly out at night time. I'm Kate McCartney. Fuck. OK, minute silence and go. Jesus, fuck. Are you getting this? Yes. Fuck, this is awful. This is worse than I thought. I'm gonna break it. No, you can't break it. I have to break it, otherwise those grinning tumours from the breakfast gang are gonna break it. Mate, we can't break it right now. We're doing a minute's silence for the tragedy. Yes, fine, right. Now fuck this. In news just in! For Jackie and Alicia, their honeymoon was meant to be the holiday of a lifetime. But it went horribly wrong when Jackie kept pissing her pants. I kept pissing my pants.